Hello, my name is T.R. Willing, and this is uh, um, this is the uh, 20, year 2020, uh, November 11, um, 6th, um, at 19.15 p.m., 7 p 7.15 p.m., 7.35 p.m., excuse me, 35. Uh, and please um, subscribe to this page and hit the little um, bell next to it, because then the, if you hit the bell, then that will give you updates as, as to my next videos. And since I have three of them, 300 of them plus on 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 Facebook right now, on on YouTube right now, and many many more to come, um, you'll be updated as to when I when I do this. So, hello. Um, the last four days in America have been uh, chaotic on a good day and um, very, um, very bad on, on a bad on bad hours. I am having an idea, and anyone who knows me knows what that means. Ooh. I was having a conversation with a couple of my of the people that I know that help that happen to live, both live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and from those two people that li that live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that I have that I have been interacting with fairly intensely for the last month. One I've known for about ten years. The other one I've known for about a month, and I have been interacting with them. And because of a of a of a part three of a discussion that wasn't exactly pleasant, uh, I was starting to think about the election and the, the, the dynamic that was happening between the three of us, which would be, like I said, part three of this dynamic. And my mind did what it does, and I'm starting to put together some ideas. The ideas that I'm putting together are that... Um, the current resident of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, who I personally cannot stand in most in, in any way, shape, or form, but that's arbitrary. The there's a there's a mathematical situation that needs to be addressed, very seriously addressed. My I might add. That mathematical situation that needs to be addressed is the following information. His heritage is Prussian. The, his, his, the family name um, about 100 years ago or so, a little over 100 years ago, was changed from Trump to, Pr to Trump. When it was changed, that, that was Americanizing it to try to hide the fact that the family moved to France from Prussia around, uh, give or take, um, semi-close to the, to the city of Konigsberg, which, which was the pre-1806 capital of Prussia. The family moved from somewhere in the neighborhood of, of, of Konigsberg, Prussia, to, Fran to, to, to an, a region of France in order to be able to so discontent in the, if I remember correctly from four years ago when I looked this up, um, in the late 16, middle 17s, so to so discontent, which means that they were part of the, not yet called that until 17, 1754, Free Corps. The Free Corps have a very uncool reputation in most aspects, shapes, and forms, including many, many times, many separate waves of genocide. Because the Munich branch of the Free Corps infiltrated a political organization called the DAP, and when they infiltrated a political organization called the DAP, they formed a, a, a voting bloc in the DAP, and then uh, changed its name to Nazi. With the with with the little corporal Adolf Hitler, it was the Free Corps who took who took the DAP over and used its used the DAP as a facade. The DAP was originally created months before in order to be able to protect 
The Thule Society, which was a society dedicated to the to learning about, interacting with, and dealing with the the aspects of the research that can be assembled about the Garden of Eden and what has what my research ha in for the last five five and a half years has has unveiled, which is an interesting side story of the, that research came from my time at my second grad school for my master to obtain my master's in psychology, my second grad school. And I ran into a Me Too issue with that school where the tutor could not shut up about Me Too. Years before it was called Me Too. She, could, she couldn't shut up about it. I wanted to talk about academics, scholastics, mathematics, and this research regarding how exactly the MMPI was created which flows directly into the subject that, that I was just on in very interesting ways. The MMPI was created in, obviously, um, Massachusetts. Uh, wow, Minneapolis. Wow, that was a hard dyslexic flip. Um, I was thinking St. Paul, St. Paul, and my brain went Massachusetts. So, um, the... So it was created in St. Paul. Well, St. Paul was basically founded by Free Corps agents from directly from the, from the Prussian Empire because the, the, the Prussians figured out a pretty long time ago, like five seconds after they, after they, they changed their name from Teutonic Knights to Prussia, to, Pr to Prussians, which happened in the 12... 50s to 1310-ish, if I remember correctly from reading this many, many years ago. And they were, and, and by the way, how, how do I, that, that's how the, the documentation connects the Free Corps with the Prussians and the Prussians with the, the Teutonic Knights, which connects it, connects it to, back to Adolf, because Adolf was a registered group of one of the Teutonic Knight um, organizations in fact, his mentor had been a lifelong, had been a, a at least a decade long member of this the, a Teutonic Knight organization. So you have the Teutonic Knights that, who then who left Acre, um, five steps ahead of the Crusaders, who because the Teutonic Knights metaphorically, symbolically, and very very likely very very little evidence of this exists because of various some sort of Dark Age and her heresy rules reasons, and of course a mountain of propaganda, mountain ranges of propaganda, to be more specific. The Teutonic Knights were forced to leave the Middle East because they were fighting for the wrong side, and they got caught fighting for the wrong side, so they had to leave the Middle, e the Middle East as quickly as humanly possible, so they went to one place, and then they fought, and the king said, oh, you guys are jerks, you, you, you may leave now or die. So they then went to the Slovakia areas and conquered the areas up in that direction and then established their new empire and changed the name changed from Teutonic to, to Prussian and then were jerks for the next 800 years. The MMPI comes from a, a in a way, um, the... The French Benaud created the, 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 the modern understanding of the IQ test. And as the, the IQ test was created, it was bounced around the, the Prussian Empire as if this is the greatest tool that has ever been in, in existence because the Free Corps are a paramilitary spy organization because they're not good at battle. But they could use psychological tools. They could use tools to be able to figure out how, ways to persuade enemy populations to turn against themselves. Hmm, this sounds really familiar. America is about as divided right now as right before the Civil War. And there's actually been literal threats from the mega to start a civil war. In fact, uh, Twitter has blocked and banned several groups and several individuals for starting to talk about actually physically, literally, violence. Steve Bannon, a little while ago, had his account suspended because he literally called on the beheading of 
one of the uh, one of the top e e e epidemiologists in alive who's handling the plague that's going on right now that has been managed as bad as it could have been managed at least by the American the United States government under the leadership of 45 So the MMPI is a psychological tool that the Free Corps were like, yes, we want that, we need that, we need, we, we need more of that. Um, now, the Free Corps had their capital in Konigsberg. As I mentioned, the, the Trump family are from that, that semi-area. Um, they moved to France and then kept the Trump name and then moved to America and the name changed from Trump to Trump. And the guy who did that was a Free Corps agent, and he he had a he had a um, I think his name was Fred. I don't remember his name. I don't remember. Don't care. Um, the 45's grandfather came here. What amounts to semi illegally, and he was a. He was brought here, he was sponsored by, the, the word I was trying to remember was sponsored, he was sponsored by the Tammany Hall. Now, one of the free, things that the Free Corps spy, paramilitary spy organization does is they go into areas and they create a, a, a think tank or a, uh, a discussion group or a support group or whatever word you want to use. They, they, they go into an area and then they, they get together and they rent, a, rent out a hall or they buy a building or they do something to that effect and they come in and they talk and meet regularly to talk and communicate and scheme and plot against the government that they are that they live in all for the glory, greater glory of the of the prussian empire which is exactly what the munich terror cell of the free corps did and when they infiltrated and took over the dap then the name changed the dap to nazi and then tried to start a revolution, which the, the the Beer Hall Rebellion, which then failed, and several of the leaders ended up in jail. And then they they then started up immediately again to to do another revolution. This one worked uh, worked beautifully, and they then infiltrated and then did use the democratic process to destroy democracy, which is a very very common theme in the in the Prussians. They love going in and de destroying democracies. It's almost the, the thing that they do the best is going to use a democracy. How do they go in and destroy democracies? The, the, they use the rules of, they use the tools that were found, that Wilhelm Wundt found in psychology. Who, well, Wundt was a Prussian. <clears throat> he was born in Prussia and he was trained as a linguist because he was in some ways, shapes and forms sold into save, slavery, although it's, although they call it endangered servitude, but it's, you know, Tomato, tomato. And as they do that, as the, as they as they do the, that infiltration stuff, they the Wilhelm Wundt was sent to, um, along with several dozen other linguists or students or children, because he was like somewhere between five and eight when he was sold into sold to, to Prussia for um, for for his academic skills even at five six years old he was showing those skills and by when he was born the, the, the that test the the uh, Benet, the center Benet test did its fundamentals did exist so they used it to start separating the pot the the Gregorian culture from okay who are the who are the smart ones who are the one who are the farmers who are the people who are good on good in factories who are the management who are the doctors who are the lawyers who are the accountants who are the guys who, who are the people who are really good at, at, at doing deliveries, who are good at doing various and sort of other jobs? Well, the, the IQ test was created to be able to, to change an agrarian culture into a factory culture. And it's changed a lot over time, but that's basically the, the fun, fundamentals of why that test was created. And it came from the Prussians trying to change their agrarian into a, into a factory format. But that's the key aspect of this situation is that they like to, the, the Prussians like to infiltrate. And when they are, when they are not allowed to infiltrate, when, when they are kicked out, uh, when their, their actions and activities of being completely horrible are found out, 
because they always use um, they always use the dominant religion and to use those tools psychologically to change to create a religious organization that because because then you, if you can convince people that it's it's this is the will of God then you they you can convince people to do all kinds of really really horrible things and it's the it's the will of God so therefore you're you're okay you're fine you're cool in fact if you do this your 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 place in heaven is assured despite the fact that you go completely against almost all the tenets of the religion that's all right because the leaders tell the leaders and and the religion the the political leaders and the religious leaders tell you it's good so. Psychological tools. So right now, in America, it appears that, and the the, the discussion that I had with the, those two friends, I'm having a, a Janus type discussion with them, a West face, which is the, the the pyramids the pyramids of Egypt are the Jan, are are the schema of Janus. The the pyramids are literally the Siamese twins of Janus. That's where Janus came from. The, Ro the Roman schema of Janus, the Roman the, the Roman culture, the Roman identity, the Ro everything there, there that is to be Roman comes from the Momentum Mari ceremony, although that was renamed, the ceremony was called something else before Rymos and Remus were involved, because in the, in, in the, in the, in the Momentum Mari ceremony, at least from, the, from the, the Roman perspective, as opposed to the Greek perspective, as opposed to the to the um, Egyptian perspective, it's base. It's the same three basic three to six, seven, eight basic acts. But the but the first ones are the most important. First, you have a community together. That's the zero. That that that's the placeholder. Then you have part one a, which is some type of assault, some type of violence, some type of, of impact, some type of where object a impacts the tra trajectory or the stillness of object b, or multiple object b's or what have you. That's 1A. That's some type of assault, some type of impact, some type of changing the natural motion trajectory of another object. 1B is the emotions involved with being impacted. And it gets a little bit more complicated, very, very emotional, from the most innocent to the most not in that situation. In fact, um, in fact, the Momentum Mari ceremony is the key ceremony to the crucifixion of Jesus. You can find about 40 examples of that exact same sequence, a group of, uh, a, a zero group of people, one a impacts some someone's being impacted heavily well, being whipped and forced to carry forced to carry across and falling three times and on his way to, to his execution where he's going to be treated really really badly at least two different ways he's going to be he was going to be crucified and then stabbed in the, stabbed in the side during the during a specific genus ceremony yes you can find layers and layers and layers of gen of the the genus momentum mori ceremony in the crucifixion itself so there's a lot of tie-ins to religion and tie-ins to christianity within this, this this framework by the way this is also the, the these actions are part of behavior pat are part of a, a human behavior pattern which you can literally find the the step first step is oh, first First, the zero, the the zero, the, the the placeholder, is a collection of people, one, uh, two or more. It also works uh, just the same as an individual when an individual has a little bit more complicated uh, of thinking, and they start having very multiple opinions about what's going on. Well, the, those opinions then battle out in the in the head, in the, in the brain, in the mind, in the thinking, in the cognition, and that battle is momentum mori. Is what, what what's best? What what's good? What's bad? The little angel on this side and the little devil on that side, or what you know, pick, pick arbitrarily. Well, the angel is saying this is you know th this is a good thing. You know this is good. To, you know do good, to do the right thing. The the devil's going. Impact, do assault, do nasty behavior. Just do it. And don't worry about the consequences. Well, there are, there's consequences. One B. There's there's a, there's going to be an emotional response, from all pay, are, all parties involved. So since you're going to have a response from all parties involved, you're going to have one B, which leads to one C, which is a, a an electromagnetic connection between between the the person and some type of a a kashic field, quantum field, um, where electricity exists, where um, 
The Hundred Monkey Syndrome is a direct reference from this situation, the, this um, almost close to impossible to prove uh, field of existence. Well, that well, we think, and that, that that thinking is connected to that field, and as that thing, as our thinking is connected to that field, group thinking occurs, and we are subject of that group thinking concept, hence the hundredth monkey situation. Now, the Prussian Empire is really good at infiltrating. In fact, that's the the Free Corps are entirely based on free uh, on infiltrating and turning the government turning the government against the will of the people and doing what they want by convincing using psychological tools to convince them. Now, the Wilhelm Wundt learned of the psychology tools from studying the Iliad and the Odyssey. Now, there's not just one copy of the Iliad and Odyssey. There's about there's about ten to fifteen copies of, of both of those books. Each one set at a different specific audience. There's there's copies of the, of the Iliad that are de that are designed for the rulers to rule to, to read in order to be able to learn how to control populations. There are, are versions that are, are mostly plays that are designed for the populations to perform that usually take several days to, to, to act out the entire play, and the population is then so consumed with you know being the hero and and sacrificing the, the self for the greater good and such so the populations then get convinced to to go to war in order to be able to act like achilles or any any of the other of the heroes of the trojan war and it's okay because the 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 enemy has we've been told by the culture by, by our leaders and the religious leaders the political leaders and the religious leaders that the enemy is bad and we need and they've done some kind of wrong that needs to be righted as in you know, taking Helen from her, her rightful husband and needing needing to 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 rescue the princess from the dark evil disgusting tower that, that the that the Trojans could kidnapped her to. Of course, they're forgetting the fact that Helen was basically what can be defined in, in modern terminology as metaphorically, she was the daughter of the head of Mossad. And Menelaus was the son of the of the of the prince uh, of the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. They would never be in within a mile of each other, except it may, except that maybe the Trojan War when, when they but there was wars and then two entire armies between. They ne well, they were never within at most some can see some aspects of some of the situations and the evacuation um, that that occurred. Right before the, the the walls were open, thrown open, what have you, and but the population had mostly evacuated by then through tunnels. The and they went to they went to Italy, reestablished, and then the continue the war the Trojan War continued for the next almost six hundred years until Romulus and Remus did some actions, and then Romulus killed Remus, and started and created and turned the city of Samhain into the city of Rome. Wow, this is complicated. <laughs> infiltration, the Trojan, the Trojan horse, infiltration. Erasing, infiltrating the city of Samhain to be able to conquer it, infiltration. Infiltrating the, infiltrating Acre and taking it over, infiltration. Infiltrating the DAP and then name changing it to, to, to Nazi. There's about 50, 60, 80 examples of major events where the, the base the base situation the the British territory of Ohio, of Ohio was infiltrated by the Prussians several different ways over 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 the course of about 60 years and they and the Prussians conquered the city of uh, the city that was there renamed it Tiffin Ohio which is my birthplace and when they when they renamed it, and at about eighteen thirty ish, it was shortly after that that um, Wilhelm Wundt was born and was shipped to Ohio as for his linguistic skills to be able to translate the library the, the Heidelberg Library that had previously belonged to my family. I don't mean distant cousin fifteen times removed. I mean my great great grandfather X Y and Z. The 
offspring of the the furthering of that would be Elmer, who was the who was the son of Z, his daughter Helen, her daughter, my grandmother, her um her son, my dad. So the the the, the situation is quite personal to me. So you have a collection of information. So you have the situation that comes up in the in, in the sequence of where you have Wilhelm Wilt and he develops the basics the, the, the basic understanding of psychology and that, that, that information is then collected by the Prussians who then send it back to Prussia from Ohio, who then in part hand it to the people who are working on the on the on the IQ test, uh, the Sanford Simpson. What, what would be become the Sanford Simpson? I'm not entirely remembering exactly when this occurred, but it was about the same exact time, and the Prussians had more and more uh, psychology tools to use against the population that they wanted to infiltrate, so to convince them to that the way they were living their life was wrong, and the way they want to, they want to live their life is under a authoritarian dictatorship of the Prussian Empire. And the Prussian Emperor, who was in control of his army. The problem is, is the Prussian army is not that good. They've never been that good, but they're really, really good at screwing with people. So, and they need they needed the the psychology tools from the from the study of the Iliad and the Odyssey in order to be able to 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 have better tools to be able to control the populations better. Enter Skinner, and how much I don't like his ideas, thoughts, or very very effective but they're the basis of torture you know those, those things that the un has declared as to, as to be wrong and bad and, and against um humanity those things the um so the prussians brought wilhelm Wundt here infiltrated Br british territory and then slowly began to take it over and so they try, slowly turned the British territory into an American territory and then territory into a state. And, of course, the, the timing's a little bit off, but I'm also compressing 70, 80 years down into a, a few paragraphs. Disjointed paragraphs from, from different aspects of what I'm talking about. So what we have, what, what we further have is that the discussion I was having with the, with the two lady, with the two people before that I was talking with before is that one of them I interact with very Western face of Janus, very past, very West, very um, difficult and, and, and such. <coughs> the other one I interact with is the East face of Janus, very gentlemanly, very ladylike um, on that person, um, on ladies and gentlemen, and very honorable, very, um, very, um, Upper class. They didn't specifically mean ladies and gentlemen, uh, or single me out as a gentleman, single, single anyone else uh, as a lady. I was being very specific regarding using the terminology, not the gender of the people I was talking to, talking with, talking, interacting with. That happens to be none of anybody's business, except for the people I was talking with. So, I my slip was not revealing gender. My slip was trying to to have a better definition for than from. Um, Gentlemen, and the other hand, you know, you know, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it, lady comes out of you, out of your mouth as standard. Um, thank you to the the information we've learned from the CR of Pavlov and the and the OC of Skinner. So they infiltrate the Prussians infiltrate. It is it is very very obvious that forty five is the current leader or president or whatever of Tammany Hall. Now Tammany Hall was created. Based off of Tammany Hall is a is a terror cell of the Free Corps, the same as uh, and the entire television show of um, Timeless time 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 uh, what is that um, with Abigail Spencer um, I'm trying to remember their names are they are um, the people involved are. That was involved. It's a, it's a time travel show where their in, their main enemy was David Rittenhouse, and David Rittenhouse was a real person. Well, and he was really good friends with Thomas Jefferson and several other founding fathers. Now the problem is, is that Rittenhouse is a real person. 
Now, what the show didn't cover, which I learned after I, I started watching the show, is but I had the, the, the all this stuff came before I watched the show, minus the specifics about David Rittenhouse. David Rittenhouse had his own terror cell. He had his own th terror cell, which means that some of the founding fathers were connected with that terror cell that was just as bad as Tammany Hall. And I don't think Tammany Hall has a good enough reputation to defend itself in any way, shape, or form, because especially since one of the leaders of Tammany Hall in the late 1800s was was a was a not gentleman by the name of Butcher Bill, who was in charge of one of the street gangs, and going to and he would constantly go out and fight and be very very inappropriate one a and then one b, with the 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 flood of immigrants coming off of the ships from Europe specifically the Irish, in fact, um, uh, to, to Martin Scorsese made an entire movie out of this situation. So, um, slight interruption. The where was I? So, Rittenhouse was is a, was a terror cell, which means that the show could have gone on many many more seasons because Rittenhouse was was not the start, the head, the foundation of the Rittenhouse terror cell. The Prussian Emperor was, and he was just a, a, an agent of the Free Corps, which Tammany Hall was is a is also a terror cell of that as well as. Some of the founding founders of St. Paul are also um, free corps agents. So you have a terror cell as, as the found, as partial foundation of the brand new St. Louis, uh, St. St. Paul, Minnesota, which is where the MMPI came from, which is what I was studying when some of these ideas first came out of my mind. And I left the, the school because of a, of a Me Too issue where the tutor couldn't shut up about the subject. Which I just had a very a recent interaction with the legal department at at that at that school, where they didn't see where since there was no actual biochemical interaction, and there was no nastiness and there was no physical nastiness involved, they didn't classify as as covered under their their um, assault aspect. But because because the, that tutor stood between me and a grade and me in the class and me and my degree. I strongly disagree with her because the Webster's definition of what I described was dead on the money. But since there was no biochemical interaction, it didn't happen. She just stood between me and a grade, several grades, and me in the class, and me and the teacher, and me and and the 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 grades that I the my degree that I could then, then turn into all kinds of interesting stuff. The problem, the but the problem, the thing is, is that the point. Regarding this specific recording is not that information. The, the, the point of this recording is specific to there's a split between the east face and west face of Janus. Right now in America, 40, uh, the 45 is thinking very seriously as to how to stay out of trouble. One, how to stay out of jail. Two, how to how to how to get away from the criminal actions that the civil criminal actions that he's done. He's going. He's being sued for um, a full-on, complete sexual assault against a person who do, he did who he assaulted a long time ago. But she's never given up the case. So, although the 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 uh, forty-five was so powerful in the in New York City that he was able to have the case delayed, shall we say? So those delays allowed for him to get away with having not not having a criminal record because he was not investigated, despite the fact that she had physical evidence from him on her, and on her clothes and such. But that's not the point. The point is is that they're infiltrators, and and he is he is the head of whatever Tammany Hall changed his name to after a, um, um, uh, about 1980 when the when the Reagan situation occurred, Tammany Hall changed his name because they had been hardcore heavy duty massively. In fact, Tammany Hall helped found the Democratic Party uh, about a century after it was found. It, it was it was created, established by the by Free Corps agents in uh, in New York City. And it so since they had since they partially founded the Democratic Party, and of obviously of course, of course, of course, the Democratic Party started off as the belly of evil. Slavery, you know, good is slavery, good plantation, bad taxes. Federal government is, is is bad and horrible. We want to we want to stay with the with the state system, and we want to stay with the 
with the Romanesque, Romanesque model, the, 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 not, no, not the Romanesque model, the Greek model of city-states, where the city-states had 99.9% had of the power and the federal government was there to just take care of some, some, some extra stuff. Well, that proved not to, to not work. It proved to not work in, in Greece. It proved to not work very well in, in Rome because they were still, they were still, they were still operating, Rome, the Roman Empire was still operating as the, each family was their own city-state and sections of the city were, were selected out to be um, different families' power base, as in instead of having a bunch of scattered cities, you know, Sparta and Athens and the like, you had, you had all those cities inside of Rome proper or just outside of Rome proper, and they, they fought over blocks instead of fought, fighting over, well, this city and its, and its farmland around it, and that city and its farmland around it are, are neighbors, and they go fight. Well, in, this, in the Roman case, they would then fight block to block, and they, there was no farmland between, or very, very little farmland between. The farming was done out, out, outside the city, which, which required infiltrating outside the city to the communities outside the city, infil, infiltrate them, take them over in, by either psychology, years before it was, it was called that, or by, by military, they then seize those, seize those assets and then use that, those communities to be able to, to feed, the, to feed the, the Roman Empire, which that city used to be called Samhain, spelled S-A-M-H-A-I-N, pronounced Saban in Manx Gaelic, S, as in uh, S-A-B-E-N. The problem is, is that it could not have had the name seven or the name the the the, the letter the the Roman the uh, Arabic number seven. They couldn't do that because the Arabic seven did not exist yet. Neither did the Latin, neither did Latin or the Latin characters A B C D and E. There was pre Latin versions of those, but the the, the language that the city of Samhain operated off of, the city of Samhain operated off of was Gaelic. How I know that, that's a really, really long story all by itself. However, from the conversation with those two people in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I, my mind split into, wait a minute, this behavior pattern, I'm, I've, been, I've been watching this behavior pattern for, three, for the last five days, well, last four, five years, four years, with with 45 and his in his in his crew and his in his me, his mega army some of which are office holders who are fully in favor of him staying as potus and they don't they're not interested in the will of the people they're interested in doing whatever it takes to to stay in power and a more disgusting and more un-american thing is very very difficult to find but however what is very 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 very, very likely is that what he's, what the plan is for 45 is, is that he's going to go into exile and he's going to try to create a puppet shadow secret in exile government, his, take his administration and take it into exile and still rule this war, the, this nation from exile, which means that his, his, his supporters in office will actually be, will loyal, be loyal to him and the shadow government, and not to Americans or in the American government. The that took a long, that took a lot of explaining. But the stati the statistics are there. The clinical evidence of this the Prussians are in an infiltration organization that they've infiltrated tens, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of different different cultures and taking them over. The Romans did exactly the same thing. And a direct connection between the Prussians and the Romans is quite easily to, to make. It just takes about half an hour to explain all the detail, all the working parts and details. Many, many, many ex-soldiers and ex-politicians of Rome travel left Rome and were given land in the on the Rhine, which the Rhine then became a uh, thousand plus years later, name change, uh, the, the area of the Rhine is still there. It's just the country is Germany slash Prussia, depending on what, what decade, what, what year, and, and where the border was. Now, Prussia d was obliterated from existence in 1946, and the, the Prussian emperor was forced into exile 
and a new emperor was created, and that would very, very, very likely based on on other evidence that would take about an hour to explain, which I think I, I explained in a, in a different video, that the the new capital of Prussia would be Wichita, and the Koch family. So, but that is that is based on a statistical analysis, and some real tangible physical evidence. Um, involving where the Amber, where the Prussian uh, uh, Russian Amber Room was transported to, courtesy of Eric Koch, their cousin, who was the former mayor of Konigsberg, and his his entirely owning both several Panzer divisions that went that during Operation Barbarossa went to uh, Saint Petersburg, went to Saint Catherine's Cathedral, and captured seized. And put into put into his own personal train and shipped it on his own personal rail, uh, rail lines to Konigsberg, where his own personal entire U-boat fleet, Eric Koch's entire U-boat fleet, was stationed, and he could have easily lo loaded the the Amber Room onto his own personal several uh, several U-boats, and then shipped and then shipped it across across the ocean to his to his to his very very close cousins. And they are private in their in the Koch family private dock in Houston. The um, the Galveston, I think Galveston, that that whole Corpus Christi, type, um, they could have shipped it there, which is the which is one of the of the entry points for the Arkansas River, and then you have the Arkansas River chug up and up and around, and the, the Arkansas River does cut through. Well, it does. Tulsa, Oklahoma is built on both sides, semi both sides of the Arkansas River, about 100 and some miles southeast of Wichita, which, which is relatively excessively close. So you have all kinds of working parts and all kinds of infiltration stuff going on. And there's all, and the, the amount of the other evidence that I left out, you know, the Leonardo da Vinci stuff and the Versailles stuff, and in, the Prussians infiltrating, but they weren't called. <sighs> They weren't called Tammany Hall then, and they weren't called uh, Nazis then. They were still they they took on the name Libertine. So the Libertine French, the Vichy French, infiltrated France and then slowly took it over. And the French monarchy was toppled because of it. And the, where the French monarchy exiled to would be the head, where the headwaters of the Arkansas River is. So thousands and thousands of moving parts. But which points, which all that evidence points to the to the fact that statistically speaking, it's difficult to figure out a way that Donnie that that thing forty five is not trying to create a shadow government. As you know, he lost the popular vote and he lost the, the state the states. So he's he they're working very hard to create a shadow, a puppet shadow government, somewhere possibly Mar-a-Lago, possibly some one of, one or two of his other resorts. That also is also that that was also fairly well that could have could have been defined as very very well planned out from from decades before. This could have been a very very long term plan. In fact, Mar-a-Lago was built to be given to the to the United States government as the Western White House about a hundred years ago. It, it's 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 had the the the, uh, the Southern White House Southern White House. Not, I was I flip, the Sussex flipped. I the Mar-a-Lago was literally built to be the Southern White House because there was there was an assumption in, in that time that DC was having having a, a bit of a problem. So what they and what they wanted to follow um, Ben Franklin's idea. Ben Franklin, ben Franklin and partially Thomas Jefferson's idea was to was to every X amount of de decades or so change the location of the capital so that so that no power could actually to, could entrench. And seize power. If they if they were if they had if they bounced between five or six or seven capitals, then the chances of entrenching was were, were less. The problem, which is exactly what the Roman Senate did, they they the Senate met in about twelve or so in, between eight and twelve buildings around the building perimeter the, around the western side of. The, the Roman Forum. Now, the eastern side, the eastern side of the Roman Forum, is between the Temple of Venus and the 
the hill that is to the east of the Colosseum, which I don't remember the name of the hill right now, that that area. Well, the Colosseum wouldn't be built for six, seven hundred years, eight hundred years. It wasn't built until um, until about seventy ish uh, CE, and Rome was renamed, was conquered, was infiltrated, renamed, conquered, and renamed to Romulus to to, to uh, uh, reflect the commanding general's uh, name, Rome. And so that you have the you have a semi built in with the forum, the east side being where the Colosseum is now, and where the city of pillars used to be, and the west side, which is where the the Senate would meet in various assorted built uh, structures over over the course of, of the year, the Curia Julii being one of them, the Temple of Jupiter being another one, and some of the other buildings also uh, some of the larger buildings also you being used as similar over the course of the year. So that's what Ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson wanted to do, was they wanted to have a rotating capital, not just have it all in D.C., but they wanted to have a, have a rotating capital every move every few years or a few decades or so in order to be able to be able to give the people a bigger voice. Well, that was abandoned, except for Mar-a-Lago, and then when 45 bought Mar-a-Lago a long time ago, this could very easily have been part of that plan to infiltrate, seize the presidency, and which legally he did seize it. The, he, he didn't win it by any, any stretch of the imagination. He won it by lots and lots of, of friends, help from other nations and such, which has been legally proven. And, and in fact, he was legally proven and impeached over it. The, the, his, his mega cult just decided not to remove him from office. While a plague was 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 in its for it was in its beginning stages, so it, so those 300,000 300, American deaths that can be directly associated with the plague are directly on their shoulders because they're the ones that handled it about as badly as they could have and not killed many many more. The benefit of of, of America and freedom and democracy is that. You can only do so much damage, technically. Now, if this is true, that there is there that the mega cults are trying to create a a, a, pu a puppet shadow private in exile government, this needs to be investigated and dealt with immediately, if not sooner, before the the, the seed has any 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 time whatsoever to, to even con consider germinating. My name is Tierra Welling, and thank you for watching and listening. Please subscribe and hit the, and hit the little uh, bell to the, to the side. Thank you so much.